Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you this smartphone from Energy System. This is their Energy Phone Pro HD. It's a budget end Android smartphone with some great specifications. Let's take a closer look. So here we go, this is the Energy Phone Pro HD, and I wanted to share with you the initial unboxing of this, as well as give you my opinion of this particular Android smartphone. Now this has got an octa-core processor running at 1.7 gigahertz. It's got a five inch HD IPS display. It's also got a 13 megapixel rear facing camera and a five megapixel front facing camera. It also supports dual SIMs as well. And it comes with a 36 month or three year warranty. So quite a nicely specified smartphone. It isn't running the very latest version of Google Android. It is in fact running Google Android 4.4. But without further ado, let's get this unboxed and see what we get supplied. And Energy System, basically, they sell very, very highly specified smartphones, but without the matching price tag, which I think is uh, good. Nowadays, you don't need to buy a flagship smartphone. You can indeed buy something very well priced, but very highly specified. So a nice box, this top section slides off. We pop that out to the back there. And then this reveals the actual smartphone itself. And you can see here some of the specifications I've already told you. But in addition to those specs, we've got 8 gigabytes of storage, 1 gigabytes of RAM, uh, micro SD card support as well, up to 64 gigabytes. And we've got the phone front and center. So let's just pull this out. Something I have just noticed is that we've got a 5 megapixel front facing camera. But up in this top corner here, we have also got a front facing flash as well. So let's just peel this off, remove the sticker, and you can see a really nice looking smartphone. I'm gonna show you up and running in a short while as well. Let's give you a quick guide around it. So across the bottom edge, we have got a micro USB connector there, and a little pinhole microphone. Across this edge here, we have got what looks like the slot for the micro SD card. We've also got the volume rocker. Across the top edge, we've got the power on off button and also three and a half millimeter audio jack. And then on this side here, we've got little trays for the dual SIM cards. So I'm assuming you can't remove the back, which is fine. I'm not uh, worried about that, but the back looks really nice. Nice white finish to it. Speaker down the bottom secondary microphone, the 13 megapixel camera, and of course a flash on the back as well. So we take a closer look at the smartphone once it's up and running. Let's see what else we get supplied inside the box. So we can remove this packaging and we have got some uh, paperwork inside, quick start guide no doubt. And then we've got some extra sections here. So we've got a little box with a cable in. This is gonna be the USB cable. And it's a nice flat cable, so that's really nice. So we've got full size USB to micro USB on the cable. And then we've got the charger. Now I'm assuming this is gonna be a European charger because they are a European company. And yes, I am right. So it's not a UK charger in the box. It's a two pinned European charger with a USB connector on that end. But these are multi-voltage. You can charge it from any USB wall charger really or indeed you can buy a converter for this for your specific country. So now let's get this up and running and take a closer look. So here it is. This is the Energy Phone Pro HD up and running and the setup procedure was very straightforward indeed. In all fairness, it's pretty straightforward with all Android devices nowadays. The octa-core processor in here means it is very responsive. If I open up the app tray, you can see some of the apps that are pre-installed and we've got pretty much all of the Google Apps sort of pre-installed from uh, the, the very first startup. But don't forget, this is a Google Android Play Store supported device, so you can download pretty much any application that you want. Now, I've only used this for a few hours, but it seems super, super responsive. And the first thing I wanted to test was the camera. And it's a 13 megapixel rear-facing camera. Uh, very nice controls as well. As you can see, this is the, the camera interface and you can control pretty much everything that you want to, such as exposure, color effects, scene modes, image properties, etc. We've got some camera settings here as well. We've even got an HDR function and then we've got dedicated video features as well. 
And if we come back out to the home screen, and I'll pop into gallery, you can see some of the photos that I've already taken. Now I took these in sort of reasonable light, I've got a studio light on, the detail is nice, the noise is sort of there, but at a minimum and very well controlled. And if we have a look at this one, which is one of the, the photos that I take with all smartphones that I test nowadays, the color accuracy and the actual uh, clean photo captured here uh, really does show that we've got a good quality 13 megapixel camera on the back of this particular smartphone. How does it feel in the hand? Well, it feels really nice. Nice smooth edges, a little tiny bit slippery, but a nice size. This is a five inch IPS LCD display. And although it's not the highest resolution display on the market nowadays, I think it's perfectly acceptable. Nice, crisp, clear icons, nice, crisp, clear text. It goes nice and bright as well. Let me just pop the brightness up. So we go into our settings and we go to display and we go into brightness and we're not even at full brightness. Let's pop it all the way up to full brightness and have another look and you can see really bright, vivid colours. And again, when I showed you that photo of my Simpsons canvas, it shows how good the screen is on this. So very nice screen experience, really nice camera experience. Uh, the actual dialer, uh, nicely set out as you'd expect. I mean, there's not much of an overlay on top of uh, Google Android here. So you're getting pretty much uh, sort of a, a vanilla, sort of or a raw Android experience with this particular smartphone. I think the buttons are nicely placed. Uh, the back, yes, it is made of plastic, obviously, uh, but it feels a nice quality, a nice grade of plastic as well. The sound that the little speaker produces, again, more than acceptable. I think it's a nice all-round smartphone. It's a shame it's not running the very latest version of Google Android, but you could probably find a way of getting that on here if you're experienced enough. I'm not sure if you're gonna get an upgrade on this from the company. But even in its current format with Google Android 4.4, it's still a more than acceptable smartphone and it comes in at a fantastic price. So it just goes to show you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a good quality smartphone nowadays. This is the Energy System, Energy Phone Pro HD. I'll leave links to this product in the video description. If you've enjoyed this video as well, please do hit that like button. Let me know what you think of this particular smartphone and indeed the quality of those photos in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.